Mum, mum, it, it's me, your son, Raul Coley. I'm here because I'm a big fan of Injustice 2 and I was lucky enough to get the inside scoop about the future of Injustice. Uh, Ed, it's an honour to finally meet you. Thank you so much for talking to DC All Access. My uh, pleasure. Can you tell us about Sub-Zero? Like we did with, Mo with Injustice 1, we had Scorpion. Yes. So we thought the natural progression of things would be to do uh, Sub-Zero for Injustice 2. And what's cool is uh, Jim Lee had done the, 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 the character, the model design, oh, wow. or the, yeah, the costume design for Scorpion, and he also did uh, Sub-Zero Sub for Injustice oh, 2. So fantastic. we're really, yeah, it kind of keeps it in the family, yeah. you know, full circle thing, and you know, I'm a huge fan of Jim Lee's and stuff like that. So I it was an honor to that, have yeah. him, you know, kind of reimagine one of our characters. Oh, that's fantastic. And has there been any kind of tweaks to Sub-Zero to have him in uh, Injustice 2? Have you made any changes or does he play the same as he would say in Mortal Kombat X or? You know, again, it's a, it's a superhero game. So there's an option you can have him with a cape, okay. you know, which, which is always cool. Yeah. And, you know, he has a little bit more flair, you know, like, like, so, so like you know, he's got these kind of like these shards coming from his his shoulders, which is a really cool design. As well as you get a number of different variations of him. You can have him with a mask, without a mask, with a number, with a hood, without a hood. All these versions of Sub Zero that we've done over the years, we're covering with the gear and all that. Okay, and yeah. in your personal opinion, who'd win in a fight, Sub Zero or Batman? Sub Zero or Batman? Um, you know what, I guess because we're talking about Sub-Zero, I'm going to say Sub-Zero. You're going to Sub go with Sub-Zero? Yeah, yeah. I'll go with Batman right. just to balance it out. Sure, sure. Um, and are there any other characters or future plans for DLC that you could tease? Well, like we had announced the three, the first three characters, which is Red Hood, Sub-Zero, and Starfire, which we're really excited about. And we gave little teases as far as like, you know, shadow images from I saw behind those, them. Yeah. One of them looked kind of unmistakably like Black Manta. So. There's a chance that he's in there. Yeah, so with Sub-Zero now in Injustice 2, have you had to make any changes to the gameplay and how he feels in order to incorporate him into the game? Yeah. What's exciting about Sub-Zero, he's been represented in so many different incarnations for 25 years now. And he's had a number of moves that have come and gone, you know, the ground freeze, yep. he's had this clone move that we had more recently. And so we really wanted to incorporate, you know, a mixture of all of that stuff. So his character power is his clone. And what's crazy is, you do like, if you use a meter, a uh, bar of your meter, he actually leaves two clones out there. Okay. And so that's that's a really, like, that's something that's never been done with Sub-Zero before. And that's one of the, like, the, the new kind of enhancements that we're giving him for his role in Injustice 2. So Ed, I'm losing the fight, my meter's full, and I slam <laughs> my special with Sub-Zero. What am I to yeah. expect? Well, his super move is like, you know, it, it's a combination of a bunch of moves that he does. And actually, we add giving him like a teleport ability, which he normally doesn't have. But, you know, the big thing is, you know, he kind of, he has this fancy slide, which we introduced in the, in the first game. And then he freezes his opponent from right behind him, yes. takes out one of his kind of famous Sub-Zero giant ice mallets, and he shoots about 100 of these ice daggers into the oh, opponent. Wow flips around him and slams him to the ground and like this great spectacular explosion. It's really, when you see it, it's just so much fun to watch. Ed, thank you so much for coming down and telling us about Sub-Zero. I cannot wait to try him out. Injustice 2 is always expanding its roster, and if you want to learn more about the Injustice universe, you can check out the Injustice 2 digital comic by Tom Taylor and Bruno Redondo. There's one out every week, and it's so good, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.